Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically create new Todoist tasks from Google Sheets. So the idea is that if a new data is entered in Google Sheets, a task will be automatically created in Todoist. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Todoist. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Pavli Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Todoist. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and this is my Todoist account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new data row in Google Sheet and see whether a task will be created in Todoist automatically or not. So let me just add the name of the event. Let's say upgrade Macintosh. Okay. And the due date for this event is 2021 seven that is July 28. Okay, 28th of July 2021. So let's have a look. Do we have a task called as upgrade Macintosh in my Todoist account? Okay, so let me just refresh this. Yes, we do have an event called as upgrade Macintosh. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Sheets to Todoist? So here we have used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Todoist. Now the best part here is all you have to do is build a workflow to integrate Google Sheets and Todoist and every time a new data is entered in Google Sheet, an event will be created or scheduled in Todoist. So let me show you how it's done. So in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p a w b l y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already created an account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. At the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets to Todoist. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just create away, click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Since we want to send the data from Google Sheets, so in the trigger window, we are going to select the app as Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row. Essentially, what we are trying to do here is we are going to integrate a Google Sheet to Public Connect. So this is a newly created Google Sheet and it has been titled Todoist. Okay, and we have the columns, name of the event and due date. So the idea is that we are going to integrate this Google Sheet to Public Connect. So to begin the integration process, first of all, just click on add-ons. So when you click on add-ons, Pabli Connect webhooks will be available. Now, since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect webhooks might not have been installed in your Google Sheet. So what you have to do is just click on get add-ons. So when you click on get add-ons, Pabli Connect, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So in the search, just type Pabli Connect webhooks. Pabli Connect webhooks, this one. Okay, so as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhooks is already installed in my system. So when we when you click this, Pabli Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now there is something I have to tell you. After installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again. After installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Now there must be an obvious question that's hovering in your head. Why the hell are we working on incognito mode? Well, the answer is very simple. If you are working with Google Sheet and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the problem of authentication. Okay, so I am assuming that you have installed Public Connect webhooks and also refreshed your Google Sheet. So I'm canceling this. Okay, going back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect webhooks, just click on initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. Here we have to fill two fields, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. So let me just add the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. Let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Easy. We have added the webhook URL. Now we have to figure out the trigger column. The trigger column is always the last data entry column. I repeat this again. 
the trigger column is always the last data entry column. In our case, the last data entry column is column B. If you may remember, there was no column after column B. So the trigger column is column B. Okay, so I have added the trigger column as column B. So let me just straight away click on submit. Okay, now essentially we have integrated this Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. Now there is one minor thing you have to do. Go back to add-ons, Pabli Connect webhooks, just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column B is filled, it will keep sending out the data to Pabli Connect. And Pabli Connect is ready to receive the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make some entry. So the name of the event is let's say upgrade windows 10 and the due date let's say is 21 7 25 25th of july 2021 this is the due date so the column b or also known as the trigger column or the last data entry column has been filled so essentially it means that the trigger has been rigged so let's have a look let's have a look since fabric connect is integrated with google sheet has it captured this detail or not Yes, we do have the details. We have the detail, the name of the event that is upgrade windows 10. Then we have the due date that is 25th of July 2021. This is the row index. Basically, it means we have the data from the second row. Okay, so now using all these data, we are going to create a task in Todoist and this is how you do it. You go to the action window and you select the choose app as Todoist. Todoist it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create a task. Okay, simply just click on connect. We are going with a new connection. Now in the new connection, you have to enter the token. So to get the token, let's have a visit to Todoist. So to get the token, let me just click on the profile. Here in the profile, you will find integrations. Click on integrations. Scroll down and here you will find the API token. Copy this and simply paste it here. Easy. Just click on save. Okay, so let me just click. Okay, yeah, we have entered the correct token. So as you can see, we have a set of fields. The purpose of these fields is very simple. We are going to create a new task in Todoist from the data that we have collected from Google Sheets via Public Connect. So we have the first field that is content. So let me just map the name of the event that is Upgrade Windows. Now, if you want to know where this event came from, so this is the event Upgrade Windows 10 and we have mapped it. The project ID, it is showing inbox. So these are all the projects I have. Okay, I have three projects. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, create a new project. Okay, so these are the projects we have. Now I'm happy. I'm not actually happy with these projects. So that is why I'm creating a new project. And the name of the project will be data from G Sheets. Okay, or Google Sheets, G Sheets it is. So let me just click on add. Okay, so a new project data from G Sheets has been created. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on refresh. So when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created project in the drop down. Yes, data from G Sheets. So we are going to create a task in this particular project. Now we have to map the date or the due date. So this is the due date that is 25th of July 2021. The priority I'm keeping it as elevated. Okay, or you can go with the natural one also. It's your choice. And straight away, just click on save and send test request to create a task in Todoist. So let's have a look. Do we have a task called as upgrade Windows 10? Yes, we do have the task. So the presence of this task indicates we have a successful integration between Google Sheet and Todoist. Now before you leave, let me just uh, explain you the whole mechanism of this workflow. So I'm just to minimize the action window, I have also minimized the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect and then you integrated Pabli Connect to Todoist. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Todoist. So basically the gist is all you have to do is just build this workflow for once and every time a new data is entered in Google Sheets, an event will be scheduled or a task will be created in Todoist. Easy? Okay. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Also, the link of Pabli Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.